This is a Game Caviar production. Infinity Ward, a bunch of daft some bitches. Let me tell you what happened today. I'm on Xbox 360. Uh, I'm back on Xbox 360 because for some reason this HD PVR won't record sound on PlayStation anymore. Whatever. I go to play some uh, Ground War and all of a sudden in I don't know when this happened by the way because I don't normally play Ground War but in between uh, Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed they now have Search and Destroy I don't know what kind of idiot decided to put Search and Destroy on, on Ground War but um that's whack son Take it out. I mean, I just change it. I don't know what's up with Infinity Ward. Like, it's literally a month from Black Ops 2 coming out, and these idiots decided to put out a patch that's supposed to um, fix latency and all this other crap. Basically, they put a patch that didn't fix anything. I'm starting to believe these patches are really fake. They're not real. They don't fix anything. I'm using ACR with a thermal scope because you know, why not? I unlocked it, so I'm going to use it. I'm actually not that bad with a thermal scope. Um, this match does not prove my previous statement, but uh, you're going to have to trust me on this one and just know that I'm decent with this thermal scope. Anyway, good old Infinity Ward. And, and if you didn't, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put the last video in, in the uh, video response box for this video so you can check it out. And it literally, I was playing a game on hard hat and it started lagging and jumping around. So I was like, all right, cool. This is normal for Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty for in general. And it's pitiful to say that, but it's true. All of a sudden, I'm underneath the map. You know how like in um COD 4 they have the guys who who uh who mod the game and then you can get underneath the map and kill people that's exactly how it was but I was the only person there it was crazy like I was trying to move around and I couldn't move and then the match ended of course surprise surprise um and that happened that was the first time that ever happened to me personally and it happened after a patch that they had released that was supposed to fix the game so and old, I mean, I think they're really sabotaging this game. Infinity Ward is a bunch of sick bastards. Like they, they, they feed off of our demise and our hatred, and just they, they. I guess the more that we scream at this game, and the more that we rightfully complain about it to them, I think it's like they, they print out, but like they go to the official Call of Duty form and they print out everything, and and. They, they put it in this big ass jacuzzi and they all like bathe in it like like what's the name that duck off that cartoon that had the uh the gold coins in uh in his safe and he used to swim in them if you try to swim in gold coins in real life you try to jump in them like a pool you're gonna break your damn neck because gold coins are not fluid they're solid just telling you that in case you ever come up on some gold coins okay Black Ops 2, next month, I'm going to be doing videos on it, of course. I just traded in some games at GameStop towards it. Um, I'm only going to be on, I will only owe about 20 or so dollars on it. Uh, and uh, I don't know what the last, I, I, I pre-ordered it through GameStop, and at first they gave me like a, a, a prestige token for Modern Warfare 3, this train wreck of a game that I'm playing right now. And... Then it was like, what was the second one? The second one was you can enter into a contest, but I don't know what the third one is. I need to go check on that. But what I will tell you is that one month from today, the most important game in Black Ops history, I will say it again, the most important game in Black Ops history will be released. I mean, not Black Ops, the most important game in Call of Duty history will be released, Black Ops 2. I personally am done with Infinity Ward. This game right here, Modern Warfare 3, is an abomination of all video games. I mean, these guys literally cannot make a video game if somebody else uh, made it for them. I swear. I'm thoroughly convinced that they're trolling us at this point. 
it's like the game has almost been out for a year. It may even be a year. I don't think it's a year yet, but it's almost been out for a year. And they haven't fixed anything. They haven't fixed shit. How, how do you do that? And people were saying, and, and you know, another thing, the Metal of Honor beta, people are saying, oh my goodness, this game is going to suck. I'm playing a beta and it's going to suck. A beta is not a Phoenix game, so it's going to have bad parts in it. But I'll tell you one thing. Um, Danger Close has already started releasing patches to fix the problems that people have brought up to him before the game is even released. Infinity Ward can't even fix the problems in a game that's been out for a year. These guys are a joke. I'm telling you, I'm not giving these clowns any more of my money. Treyarch is on, they, I mean, they're on probation. Like, if Black Ops 2 comes out and it's absolutely disgusting, like, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. You ever, like, I, I know what happens because if you play Modern Warfare 3, I know I'm not the only one that does it. Like, it, it's just so irritating that you just put the controller down and you turn the console off and it just leaves, a, like, a sour taste in your mouth. That's that, that's that cod just screwed you over taste. If Black Ops does that, I can't play Call of Duty anymore. I can't do it. I mean, why would I spend my money on a game every, every year that, that doesn't work? It's almost been a year since Modern Warfare 3. I can't believe this, that it's almost been a year since Modern Warfare 3 has been out and they refuse to fix anything. I mean, it is just as bad. Or, or, the, the changes that they have made have been so minute and so small that you can't even, you don't even notice them. So this game is like, they, they might as well just send out the game like, you know what, this is it. We're not going to release any patches. If it's screwed up, it's screwed up. Hey, you paid for it. Fuck you. We don't care about you. That's the way we feel. I would have more respect for them if they had came on and said that than just doing these piddly winked ass um, patches that don't fix anything. Seriously. If Battlefield, if if uh, if Dice came out with a patch for Battlefield 3, guess what? It fixes shit. If Danger Close comes out with a patch for Battle of Honor, guess what? It fixes shit. If Infinity Ward comes out with a patch for Modern Warfare 3, it doesn't do anything. These guys are like Houdinis. They they figured out a patch to take out a damn level in a game, Modern Warfare 2, that's old as hell. Talking about, oh, you guys are just going to have to wait until we patch it to fix the issue. That patch is never going to happen. I mean, I promise you that. Because Infinity Ward does not know how to release patches that fix anything. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar studio, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.